Welcome to this tutorial on Onshape. Today, I'm going to show you how you can easily and quickly design your own gear. You can later export this as an STL file and print it with your 3D printer or use it in your CAD construction. To add this feature, you need to click on this plus sign at the top and add a custom feature. Enter the URL I've linked in the video description, press search, and the Spur Gear custom feature will be suggested. Click with the left mouse button and then click again at the bottom with the left mouse button and the feature will be added to the workspace. To add a gear now, we select our Spur Gear from the top and it will be automatically created in Onshape. Now we have the possibility to customize this gear. We can adjust the depth where we can enter the desired thickness. We can determine the orientation either on the flat surface or symmetrically, meaning 5mm to the left, 5mm to the right. We can then set the number of teeth our gear will have later. We can also set the diameter of our gear. If we go to 30mm it will be adjusted accordingly. We have the option to change the angles on the individual tooth flanks 20 dig or 25 de gran. And we have the possibility to execute the whole thing as a helix. This will turn the gear. We can also change the angle number to determine how many degrees it should be turned. We can rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise. We can also set up a double helix if we select this option, creating a gear with a double helix. We also have the option to specify rounding of the edges, also with different angles. Another highlight of this feature is definitely setting a borehole in the middle or a shaft for a drive. And here we can also mill a small groove for later attaching our drive. Here we can also select the different sizes, the width 5 meter and the height 5 millimeter, and Onshape will adjust everything accordingly. When we are satisfied with our gear, we press confirm. If we now want to print this on our 3D printer, we go to part, press export, and then we have the option to name our file. Select our format for exporting. We want to export it as an STL, press export, and then we can add it to our slicer. Open it, and we see that it has been created in the slicer. And now we can theoretically print our gear. With this knowledge, you can now create gears yourself in the future and print them on your 3D printer. I hope this video was helpful. Subscribe to the channel, like the video for more content, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.